Hello everyone, I'm Saturnax and in this video I want to show you a quick and easy way of getting your Fortnite Mobile back on your iOS device or the iPad OS if you have the iPad. Fortnite Mobile, it's good deleted from App Store over like two years ago and uh, now you can finally get this thing back on your iOS device. It's so simple to do, I'll just show you step by step in this video how to do this. Don't forget to smash the like button and let me know in the comment section what you want to see in the next videos. Fortnite Mobile is a great game. I actually started making the videos on YouTube with this game, about this game. Um, I had a lot of views uh, in some of the videos, like on the iPhone SE for generation. And I want to get this thing back on my device. So what do we do? So the first thing you do is you type in the browser iAmazing. This is the software that allows you to actually connects to your iPhone device uh, so if you have a um, Mac OS or a Windows device get this program on your uh, desktop and uh, just like this it should be downloading you have the link in the description to get this program from as well and also the next thing you also gotta do is to just click on the second link takes you to this Mega.NZ website and you have to download this uh, program uh, so once it's done you want to wait for this program to get installed and now uh, the quick installation you just kind of wanna uh, next uh, this installation process uh, so wait till it actually installs on your device it won't take more than a couple of minutes And now once the installation is done, you want to open up this program. Uh, so just like this, it opens. And now you have to plug in your iDevice. device. So uh, you grab your um, lightning cable and just plug in your device with it. If you have the iPad with the USB-C cable, then you, you, you have to just plug it in into your device with the USB cable. And now as you can see, if there's a pop-up to trust this PC, you want to press on the trust icon. And just like this, it, the iAmazing software actually recognizes your device. So you want to click on later and now, as you can see, you have the access to all your files. Click on the quick transfer and here you have to choose the file that you have uh, downloaded from this mega uh, website. So it's the actual Fortnite file. Click on continue. Now I have to turn off my find my iPhone feature. And here I have to just log in into my Apple ID. So this method only works if you have the Fortnite previously downloaded on your Apple ID. If you haven't downloaded the Fortnite mobile uh, on your Apple ID, you have to actually ask someone that uh, had Fortnite before. So maybe your friend had Fortnite on his device. Uh, so then you want to just pass his Apple ID credentials. And just like this, the Fortnite is just installed on your device. It took me like five minutes to install this. As you can see now, the iPhone is just booting once again. And as you can see, just like this, the iPhone is just booting with the Fortnite installed. So the quick setup over here, um, the rest is just complete, you kind of want to just continue uh, through this process. And now you have the for I install on your device. Uh, so it shows me the error, um, but all you gotta do is just quick quit the app and open it up once again and now you can actually log in into your Fortnite account and download the game and then play it 
So it's just so simple. It literally just took me a couple of minutes to get this for and install my device. Um, this is the full version of your game and uh, and the next thing that I want to point out is that if you have a problem with actually logging into your Epic Games account, you want to just choose, choose the um, Google account and so then it won't have any problems to so just log it in and just like this you will be logged in into your um, Epic Games and you can play this Fortnite on your device. So thank you so much. For watching and see you in the next video. Bye. Let's go. We see the hype outside. Right from the house. Uh, took it straight from